hi guys welcome to my youtube channel thank you for joining today i'm going to be teaching you how to make a breast ball or as other people know it um taylor's ham as you can see perfect work right so first of all you have to get a, uh, a fabric you call 10 by 20 yes um the bread is 10 while the length is 20 yeah so um, after cutting it out you have to fold it like that then after folding then you sew the sides take it to your machine and then you sew so after sewing it, it's going to be looking like that yes you sew both ways the sewing does not have to be perfect but make sure you aim it well so it's not going to lose at all so after sewing you turn the inside out as you can see what i'm doing here yeah yeah so um that's our pieces will be um putting in and then that is our clothes they will be using to wrap it afterwards so then we start um checking in our pieces make sure that um um is is a lot of pieces to stuff it very well so that it can be very very hard like strong that there should not be any space yeah as you can see as i'm doing it yeah just keep adding a lot of pieces pushing them inside properly let don't leave any space just keep pushing the pieces inside For those of you that don't know uh, what a telos um, is or a breast ball is um, a kind of round ball we use in ironing our breast pad when we are sewing when we're sewing for a customer to give it a perfect shape after sewing for it to come out well yeah that's what a breast ball or as a lot of people know it's a telos, um is called so you just keep stuffing the the fabric with the pieces yeah you can see the way I'm, I'm pushing it push it inside stuff it stuff it inside keep pushing it I don't know the word to use if it's the stuff it or to push it but you I know you guys know what I'm saying so you keep doing that But make sure you don't fill it up to the 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 mouth and leave like um two and a half to three inch for you to be able to um fold it yes like that so you see um like i said you don't have to fill it to the brim you just have to stuff it and give it like two and a half to two inches like i said then after we are done with that and then we take our we go back and we carry our cloth stay yeah that's our cloth stay we can cut it um however long we want to cut it however um wide we want to cut it but just make sure that when you're cutting it it should be able to go round sideways because right now we'll be using our cloth stay to wrap that fabric being that, uh, that has been stuffed um uh, with a lot of um, pieces so that we can turn it into a round shape yes looking at it is um a square but make sure it's a round shape so yeah i'm cutting my uh, cloth stay now i'm actually using three inches but uh, it got to a point it did not complete three inch like i you can use any number any uh, uh widths like either um three inches four two and a half just depends on how i'm sorry for blocking you that it depends on how you want to cut it so i'm cutting my clothes today and also please if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe because we'll be showing more of this more of about tailoring work and if you've subscribed thank you so much for subscribing I'm still sorry for blocking you there it was not intentional 
but you guys know what exactly i'm doing i'm actually cutting the gum stay so we can use in wrapping our um our fabric yeah so um you can cut as much as you want because you need to wrap it properly for it to turn from that shape into a round shape yeah and you have to uh, make sure you do it properly at first it might be discouraging trust me but if you do it well if you wrap it very well you're going to get the desired shape you want So yeah, I had to adjust my camera properly. My, I had to adjust so you guys can see it very well. I've been blocking you guys, so sorry about that. Yeah, so now the wrapping wants to begin. So just, um, you see the way I'm wrapping it? Okay, so we'll start like that. Like I'm actually trying to cover in the... I'm trying to seal them out with the cloth stain. Don't mind me guys, I just kept adjusting my camera because I just wanted you guys to see it perfectly. So let the wrapping begin. Like I said, at first it's going to be a little bit discouraging because how can you turn this into a ball shape? It's a little bit discouraging, but do not give up. Just as you're starting, just um, just keep going, keep wrapping and keep wrapping and make sure that when you're wrapping, you're pressing the, the fabric, you're pressing it into a ball shape. Like you can see, I'm just, uh, just started wrapping. So as you can see, um, as time goes, as I'm wrapping, I will be pressing it exactly as you can see. Make sure those four corners are not showing. You just keep wrapping it round. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Yes, I know, but do not stop wrapping. yeah um don't forget to press it press it um when you when you're ironing and when you're wrapping so that those four corners because you're trying to turn this shape into a ball shape so just keep doing it like that you see how progress how it will be pro um, pro progressing into a, a ball shape just keep wrapping it properly press it into um, a round shape and you you get your desired results
so guys you keep wrapping it like that as you can see is is a round shape don't stop make sure you keep wrapping it perfectly to get your desired results the more you wrap it the more you press it the more rounder it becomes yeah exactly like that so guys um this is how to make um so guys this is how to make um this a tailor's ham or a breast ball this is how to make it um, it's easy it's easy if you put your mind to it it's very very easy um please guys don't forget to subscribe and follow for more for more videos for more great videos as you see the more i wrap it the rounder it becomes and this if um, you use this for your breast um, part like for ironing it you're going to get a really really good result for those people that can't buy this is the best alternative you can use but if you can buy if you can buy great but if you don't really know where they sell or where you can buy it from you can make it like this and you can still get a really really great um, result so my next video i'm going to show you how you iron your breast pad with this tiller's hem so um, i'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching for viewing i really appreciate you guys and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you so much i love you guys